Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Uh, I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to catch my first long nose gar in uh, urban southern Ontario. Uh, so let's get started. So the main thing about fishing for long nose gar is the time of year. Now, if you go out for them in say the winter time, you're not going to get them because they're just not around. Uh, they'll be out in the Great Lakes where maybe only a commercial fisherman might get them. So you want to get them when they're hungry and when they're spawning. And so that really is a limited window. I'd say that's from uh, like the last week of May down to maybe the first couple weeks of July. It really is a limited window. So as you can tell, it's mainly in June when you can catch a uh, long nose gar, when they really make themselves uh, appear more. And uh, what, pe what a lot of people do is they'll fish with minnows for them. But uh, the thing about long nose gar is that their snout is like a skull. They don't have any flesh for the convenient typical hook to get into. So you're basically trying to really stab them right in the head. Uh, so it's not, that doesn't make for great hookup ratio. So what I managed to do, was uh, this. I bought a rope lure off of eBay and with the shipping I think it came to about 15 bucks. It's uh, just a connector to just some white rope and I put a few split shots ahead of it and I casted it out and then it kind of went just a few inches under the water and I retrieved it slowly and the night now you're saying how could you ever catch a gar on a piece of rope? Well there's no hooks no hooks at all. Nothing. It's just very uh, catchy, snaggy rope. And the thing about long nose gar is they have lots of little teeth. And when those little teeth get a hold of this and you're pulling, they're going to get snagged right inside the rope lure. So they aren't really going to be able to break themselves free if they wanted to. They're really stuck. Really get tangled in there, so you just reel them in. And the nice thing about fishing with the rope lures is you get zero snags. So if you get any tension on your line, it's a fish. So that took me a while to get used to, uh, but like I said, a great hookup ratio with these rope lures. Every time you get a bite, you really do have a greater chance of hooking them compared to a hook, uh, of getting them in. You know what I mean. So um, as for location, where do you go in June to catch long nose gar? Well, there's two spots that I would recommend, uh, two big hot spots in southern Ontario. They would be uh, Caledonia Dam and the spot in London. I'll show you a photo right now of this spot. I had three or four people reach out to me and say, you know what, buddy? This is where they are. Go there. I haven't been there. <laughs> I've been busy, but uh, I would absolutely recommend it because everyone else is absolutely recommending it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, as for guard too, I found this the hard way. You're going to want a decent sized net. Uh, something that doesn't have big holes in it and then something wide. Because although they're, although they're a very skinny fish, uh, they will poke through your net, just their whole head. And uh, it's, it's not ideal. So, uh, let's go see my catch. Long fish. Not that skinny hunting the minnows as I've been seeing all day. Just waiting for him to get some energy back. Oh, I'm loving this thing. It's so hard to get the motivation to let him go. So with my arm's length, he's about, oh, I better just let him go. But I'm gonna guess he's about a good 29 inches. This, or maybe, maybe 27, 28. This is a big guard. All right, if I let you go, you got this? You got this? All right. 